Hello everyone. This is Teacher Bon, your grade 9 science teacher. Today we will talk about electronic configuration of elements. When we say electronic configuration of elements, we are describing the number or distribution or arrangement of electrons in the energy level of a particular atom of an element. There are many ways of arranging or distributing electrons in the energy level of an atom of an element. One way is through Hofbau principle, which states that as soon as the energy level is filled with electrons, other electrons are thrown to outer energy level. Aside from Hofbau principle, another way of distributing electrons of an atom of an element is through Hans rule. Hans rule states that electrons occupy a separate orbitals in the same subshell with parallel spins first before pairing as seen in the second energy level here. Here is the second energy level particularly in the p orbitals. There are other interesting patterns of electron distribution one way of explaining the distribution of electrons following the correct order of increasing energy level is with the use of electron distribution mnemonics. So, the correct way of writing the electronic configuration of element is following the mnemonics. But before we will proceed on writing of electronic configuration of element, let us talk first how these mnemonics work. This is how it works. The order of increasing energy levels together with the electrons in them is by following the arrow. As you notice here, this is the, we'll focus to this one, this is the electronic, uh, electron distribution mnemonics. Following the arrow, the arrow starts from 1s and ends in 7p. If we are going to rewrite it from 1s to 7p, to 7p rather, following the arrow, you all came up with this one. 1s, from 1s, the arrow goes to 2s. That's why you have 2s after 1s. From 2s to 2p, here, you have 2p here. From 2p to 3s, from 3s to 3p. You have 3p. From 3p to 4s. From 4s to there. The 3d. From 3d to 4p. 4p to 5s. 5s to 4d. And so on. As you just follow the arrows in the electronic distribution, uh, in the electron distribution mnemonics, you will end up to 7p from 5f from 5f down to 7p so that's it that's the electricity you might ask that why is it that all s there has two as an exponent uh, in mathematics we call it exponent but in here we call it superscript all s there has two all p has six and all d has ten and all f has 14. It is because S can hold a maximum of 2 electrons, P can hold a maximum of 6 electrons, the D can hold a maximum of 10 electrons, and F can hold a maximum of 14 electrons. We will know, you will know that later on in the succeeding discussion. Now that you already know what an electron distribution mnemonics is and how the how are we going to use this electron distribution mnemonics? Let us connect it to the blocks of elements. Here. You have here the mnemonics. And here is the block of elements. From the mnemonics, you have there 1s. You have there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Okay, if you notice here, down from 1 to 7s. 2p to 7p. Right. 
3D to 7D and 4F to 5F. Where are these SPDF located? Okay, here is the 1A and the 2A elements. They belong to S block. Here is the S block. And for the P, here is the P block, orange in color. The D block, the blue in color. And here is the F block. I repeat, S can hold a maximum of two electrons. Let's go back to the S orbital or the S block. Here, all the elements belonging to 1A has S1 configuration. And all the elements belonging to 2A has S2 configuration. So that's full already. It's S2. And for the P block, it can hold a maximum of six electrons. Let's proceed to P block. Here is the P block from 3A to 8A. If you are going to count it from 3A to 8A, there are six. So 3A, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. And for the D block, it can hold a maximum of 10 electrons. Here is the D block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And for the F block, it can hold a maximum of 14 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. That's it. By this time, let us first identify how many electrons are there in an atom. Let us direct first our focus on the periodic table of elements. Each element is written inside a box. And each box of elements has its own information such information where the atomic number which is written above the box upper part of the box you have the element symbol you have the name of the element and of course the atomic weight now which number there is from the information of the box is the electrons which we are going to distribute in the energy level it is the atomic number. Atomic number is equal to the number of electrons. In the case of nitrogen, for example, nitrogen, a uh, hydrogen rather, hydrogen, the atomic number of hydrogen is one. Therefore, the electrons for the number of electrons that we are going to distribute for hydrogen is one. Let's have another example, nitrogen. Nitrogen here is seven. If we go to the periodic table of elements, nitrogen is here, and the atomic number of nitrogen is 7. That's why the number of electrons that we are going to distribute in the energy level is 7. Next is aluminum. Aluminum here is 13. The atomic number is 13, so therefore it has 13 electrons. Calcium is 20. The atomic number of calcium is 20. So the atomic number is, since the atomic number of calcium is 20, therefore there are 20 number of electrons for calcium. Zinc is here. The atomic number of zinc is 30. There are 30 number of electrons. Last example, tin or the stanum Sn, that is, the atomic number is 50. So there are 50 electrons. It is also important to remember this. Okay. 
phosphorus here, for example, the atomic number of phosphorus is 15. Therefore, there are 15 electrons that we are that you are going to distribute in the energy level. Or if we are going to write the electronic configuration of phosphorus, you will came up with you came up with 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p3 following the electron distribution in monics. There are parts of this one. Then the number here, this one, these numbers are what we call the coefficient. In writing the electronic configuration of the elements, be sure not to change the coefficient because the coefficient is a fixed number based from the mnemonics. These are the main energy levels as indicated in the P block, as indicated in the blocks of elements or as indicated in the periodic table of elements. This one in mathematics we call it exponent but in here we call it superscript. You can change the superscript depending on the number of electrons that you are going to distribute and each superscript equals the number of electrons. Let's say for example phosphorus there are 15 electrons. If you are going to sum up that superscript here 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 equals 15. Therefore, you have already distributed the number of electrons for phosphorus in their main in the in their energy level of an atom. Now, let us practice writing the electronic configuration of elements and take note that the pictures here will guide us. Let's take nitrogen for example. Nitrogen is 7, remember? Nitrogen is here. Nitrogen has an atomic number of 7, therefore there are 7 electrons for nitrogen. If we are going to write the if we are going to write the electronic configuration of nitrogen, we will come up with 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. Following the electron distribution mnemonics, you have 1s, 1s2. From 1s to 2s, you have 2s2. And from 2s to 2p, you have 2p3. You might ask, why is it that you will end up to 2p3 instead of 2p6? Because if you are going to put here 6, the total number of electrons there will become 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. That is no longer nitrogen. That, elect that atom is already nitrogen. Neon, which has a 10 electrons or which is which has an atomic number of 10 so it's just 2p3 you need to end up to 2p3 it's a clue that you have already written the correct electronic configuration of that atom in such a way that we are going to use the the block of elements the mnemonics and the periodic table of elements Let's say, for example, nitrogen. Focus on the nitrogen. Dapat, your nitrogen will end up to 2p3 configuration. The 2 here indicates the energy level. If you notice here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6, 7. Nitrogen is here. It belongs to the second energy level, right? Second energy level. That's why you have two there. In the second energy level, there is the P block. So the nitrogen belongs to the P block, right? And in the P block, nitrogen is the third element. First, second, third. That's why you have 3 there because nitrogen is the third element in the P block in the second energy le level. That's why your configuration for nitrogen ends up to 2P3. If you are going to, to sum up the superscript 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 equals 7.
and the number of electrons is 7 because the atomic number for nitrogen is 7. It's in here. So if you find this video helpful, please subscribe, hit the, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment below if you have something to add or improve about the topic. Thank you guys for watching.